Now on night side, the showers have tapered off, but I'm tracking the next round of rain and snow in the first alert forecast. And an explosion in an apartment building in Seattle, terrifying residents and causing an evacuation. Plus, this wild video of a four-story parking garage collapsing without warning in New York. You're watching 4 News Now Nightside. A man is in jail tonight for faking his identity several times and making illegal purchases across Washington. Thanks for staying up with us tonight. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. Aaron Luna has the night off. Joseph Simpson is in the Spokane County Jail tonight for two counts of first identity theft and a first degree theft charge. Tonight, the Spokane Valley investigative unit detectives are asking for those who know this man or may have been a victim because of him to come forward. New on Nightside, our Rania Kors in studio with the latest on the investigation. Simpson was arrested at the Northern Quest Casino. This was after he used an ATM at the casino to remove almost $25,000 he received as a loan using someone else's identity in Port Angeles. The Spokane Valley Investigative Unit started investigating Simpson because a person from Spokane Valley reported that someone bought over $12,000 worth of jewelry in Tacoma using their identity. Working with investigators across Washington, the Spokane Valley Investigative Unit detective learned that that person was Simpson, who gained access to the victim's Washington Department of Licensing account and got a new ID, which allowed him to allegedly buy the jewelry. Simpson also allegedly went to Port Angeles and got a $25,000 loan, all but $34 were withdrawn from an ATM at the Northern Quest Casino. When police conducted a search warrant, possible drugs including pills with fentanyl, meth and heroin, and firearms, just a few of the things that were found. The Spokane Valley investigative unit detectives believe that people may know Simpson or maybe can help identify other victims. Anyone who knows anything is asked to call Crime Check. That number is on the bottom of your screen. Kirsten. Warm weather will be here before we know it. And with that comes extreme heat you need to be prepared for. In the summer of 2021, 157 people across the Northwest, including 19 people here in Spokane, died because of extreme heat. Our 4 News Now weather team, led by Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker, partnered with researchers at Gonzaga University to collect data that could help more people stay cool. And they talked to community members and conducted heat map studies and found extreme heat affects low income, more racially diverse neighborhoods the most. There's a bit of a misunderstanding that maybe it was sort of just primarily affecting unhoused people. And of course it is. Uh, but what we've learned is that it's actually affecting a very large segment mm -hmm. of the community, uh, particularly East Central, Northeast Spokane, and mm -hmm. West Central. This was the first area of focus for the newly formed Climate Center at Gonzaga. Let's send it over to Chief Meteorologist Chris Crocker right now for a look at your forecast. Well, we have a few sprinkles left on our radar, but we are drying out across the region and clearing out, and that means another cold night. Partly cloudy skies and temperatures already below freezing in Pullman. It's 35 in St. Mary's, still 40 in Spokane, 32 degrees right now in Colville. We will be headed down to overnight lows in the 20s and 30s in most locations. 35 in Lewiston, one of the warmer spots on the map. And yet, because the growing season is already underway in Lewiston, there is a freeze warning again tomorrow morning for the Lewiston area, as well as Garfield and Asotan counties. We're not quite uh, ready to plant up in Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. Middle of May is the rule of thumb, but we'll be talking a lot more about that as we get closer to time. In the meantime, your Thursday planner, we're going to start the day off with dry conditions, a warming trend that takes us up to 51, but 58 is our average high. And even though we'll see some sunshine for a good portion of the day, the clouds will be increasing in the afternoon. And that's our next weather maker on the way for tomorrow night into Friday, bringing rain and snow to the valleys. I'll let you know what to expect in just a few minutes. Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. New on Nightside, an apartment building in Seattle was evacuated this morning when an explosion ripped through, sending a man to the hospital. Joel Moreno has the story. Windows shattered after a blast ripped up from the basement of the Seattle apartment building 
and rattled neighbors in the surrounding units. There was just a loud explosion some, somewhere below my unit because I felt it on the second floor um, and it was pretty big. It sounded like a car had hit our building. It was, it was pretty loud, but like I could feel it. I was laying on the ground at the time. First responders were quickly on scene following the explosion and ordered everyone out of the building. So they had us come out the front door uh, and then they pulled around some buses and told us to hop on. Metro buses helped carry people a safe distance away while a bomb squad unit geared up to search the building after finding an injured man who told them a firework he was holding exploded in his hand. We did hear him screaming. It seemed like he was in a lot of pain. It looked like he lost his hand. And I saw him like holding his arm or what was left of it, just sitting on the curb. Cleanup began as soon as investigators cleared the area and determined it was safe for people to return. Nearby office buildings had also been briefly evacuated as a precaution. People say the whole ordeal was nerve-wracking and are glad it wasn't worse. Being woken up by an explosion is a lot of emotions. New on Nightside, if you've used Facebook over the past 16 years, you may qualify for a payment from a class action lawsuit. Current or former Facebook users can now file for compensation as part of a $725 million settlement. The money comes from a class action lawsuit over Cambridge Analytica and other third parties using Facebook users' private information without their consent. In 2018, 87 million Facebook users were impacted through a personality quiz app. Meta has denied any wrongdoing but agreed to the settlement in December to avoid the costs and risks of continuing the case. New on Nightside, in New York City, a four-story parking garage collapsed and killed a person. Witnesses say it pancaked without warning, sending cars, cement, and people crashing down to the basement. We heard a big, like, boom. Everyone was scared. Everyone was scared. Everyone thought that was their last time <laughs> being alive. The images inside are catastrophic. One garage worker was killed. Five others survived. Records show the parking garage had 64 violations since 1976. New York recently strengthened its code for parking garages, requiring owners to hire their own inspectors every six years. But this garage was not yet due for one of those inspections. New on Nightside, a growing number of Americans are struggling to pay their car loans as vehicle prices and average monthly payments are soaring to all-time highs. Loan rates are the highest they've been in more than 15 years, jumping from 4.5% in March 2022 to 7% last month. Economists say those higher interest rates are related to the Fed trying to ease inflation. Higher interest rates translate to higher monthly car payments. In March, the average monthly payment for financing a new car hit $730. And it's not much better for a used car. That average monthly payment is now $556. So what can you do? One thing is work on your credit score to raise your chances of getting a lower interest rate on your car loan. And economists do say if you can wait a little while to buy a car, you should. Banks have tightened their lending standards since last month's banking crisis. That's according to a survey the Federal Reserve released today. Lending volumes and loan demand declined for customers and businesses. The Fed survey says banks are tightening their lending standards. The survey also found that consumer spending, manufacturing, and construction activity were either flat or slightly down this spring. But tourism is up, which offers hope to the travel and entertainment sector. Well, the Seattle Kraken are getting all the headlines in the first week of the NHL playoffs. I'm Julian Minnesota. Seattle defeated the reigning champion Colorado Avalanche in game one, but the Kraken know the series is far from finished. The Avalanche haven't lost consecutive games since the beginning of March when they lost three straight. Ironically enough, Seattle was one of the teams that beat Colorado during that stretch. The Kraken expect the defending champs to bring their A game in game two of the series tomorrow night. You know, I really liked that we didn't really dip our, uh, our toe in the water yesterday. We jumped right in, and we knew that you know, we have a lot of respect for that opponent over there. So, um, you know, I think the biggest thing is we have to understand that, you know, they're, they're, they're the, the defending cup champions for a reason, and, and they're going to bounce back, and they, they're going to have their best. So we definitely have to have ours. 
Game two between the Kraken and Avalanche is at 6.30 tomorrow night from Ball Arena in Denver. And we'll have coverage of that one for you right here on 4 News Now. Live in the studio, Julian Minnesone, 4 News Now Sports. Julian, thank you. Coming up on Nightside, why women should pay close attention to their heart health. And abortion restrictions are having an impact on where and what future doctors plan to practice. Join us tonight on the final frontier. Just for a serious moment. Yes. If, if we can manage it. Well, we'll try. Um, mm -hmm. this I'm still is... thinking about your hairstylist, but go ahead. <laughs> I mean, really, that's got to... How much do you pay? You pay this person? Or they... Track live radar on the 4 News Now weather app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Rosars. Make a move in the most electrifying Honda vehicles yet. Like the CRV and Accord, with available hybrid powertrains designed for more responsive performance Get up and, go. and more advanced tech. When you drive a Honda, you're driving with the 2022 Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com Best Value brand. Get moving and find the Honda for you. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Tonight, Patrick Stewart returns to Kimmel. The last time you were here, I was not here. I've been here before. You have. <laughs> Plus, Gorillas featuring Beck and... Can anyone on Hollywood Boulevard identify Mike Pence? Michael Pennington. <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel Live, new tonight on ABC. Experience the film that started it all as a live symphony orchestra performs with the full movie on the big screen. Second show added. Get your tickets now at ticketswest.com. Chevy Silverado, a new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or get $2,250 total cash allowance on a 2023 Silverado with a turbo high output engine. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. This is about more than just tractors. These are people's lives we're talking about here. When I'm on my Kubota, everything goes away. It's my therapy. Okay, guys, we need to get this part ordered for Rick's tractor immediately. Heck, they don't treat people as customers. They treat people like family. Four News Now is brought to you by Shriners Children's Spokane, the most amazing care anywhere. I love this time lapse because I feel like I lived through all these types of weather in a very short period of time. We don't even need to do it in the time lapse. The showers, the grapple, the snow showers, sunshine. Uh, we saw it all today here at 500 West Boone Avenue, but now it's partly cloudy skies and fairly quiet weather, and it's going to be cold. Headed down to an overnight low of 30 degrees. Tomorrow will be dry most of the day, partly to mostly cloudy cloudy skies, more clouds as we get into the afternoon. Here's a look at our forecast. We've got high pressure building in for tomorrow. It will not be with us for long. And the next system, it's a fairly fast mover, will be coming in tomorrow evening. Here's a closer view on the precipitation. Six o'clock tomorrow evening, that starts moving into the Spokane area by nine, 10 o'clock in the form of rain, but some snow up in the northern valleys and certainly in the mountains and then many valley locations will transition over to snow with little or no accumulation in the valleys. Lingering snow in North Idaho and the Northeast Mountains in the morning and then afternoon showers once again with the possibility of a rumble of thunder here and there. Your planning forecast after we dry out Friday evening, we're dry for Saturday and a little bit warmer. More wet weather comes in Saturday into Sunday in the form of rain and then a warming trend. I like the looks of Tuesday and Wednesday, 60s with some sunshine and it looks like our extended forecast will keep that idea of warmer than average temperatures going right on into next weekend. I'll be back in just a few minutes with Wildlife Wednesday. Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. 
The Boy Scouts of America will start to pay out a $2.4 billion settlement to more than 82,000 sexual abuse survivors. The Boy Scouts organization is now out of bankruptcy. They've changed protocols to protect scouts, including mandatory youth protection training, a screening process that includes criminal background checks, and a policy that bans one-on-one -on -one situations between adults and children. The second Helping Boys Thrive Summit is happening this Saturday. The summit is hosted by the Kellen Cares Foundation, which is a way to connect families to resources and prevent tragedies like the one that took the life of Kellen Erickson. Kellen was an athlete with a bright future. He had just graduated from high school. In January of 2020, he died by suicide. This Saturday, that summit will make its return to Spokane as a resource for local parents, teachers, counselors, and anyone who has an influence on young boys. People who attend will learn from speakers like Dr. Michael Gurian, a local Spokane therapist and author who will do Q&As with parents about difficult questions about mental health. The resources at this summit are something Kimber, the mother who's involved in this organization says she wishes she would have had before her son's suicide. You know, there's a lot that I've learned since, I, and um, I wish that I had known when I was raising my son and my two daughters for that matter, because um, they just do learn differently. And I, I really wish that I had um, had had something like this to go to. Kimber says she hopes this event will give parents and anyone who works with young boys the confidence to be open with them and to have these difficult conversations. This year's Helping Boys Thrive Summit will take place on Saturday at Summit Church in Spokane. Today, the maker of a generic abortion pill sued the Biden administration, alleging the FDA violated the Constitution's due process clause and the way they have responded to recent court orders halting the approval of the drug Mifepristone. GenBioPro is seeking a court order requiring the FDA to go through certain procedural steps laid out under federal law before declaring its Mifepristone product unapproved. The company is also asking the court to bar the federal government from taking enforcement actions against the company before the FDA had gone through statutory process of withdrawing or suspending the drug. And the new lawsuit sets up yet another legal battlefront over access to abortion pills. And we'll have much more after the break. Download the 4 News Now app today. I'm Mark Peterson, the extreme team at Horizon Credit Union, ready to take on the next task. If you know of a project that needs an Extreme Team makeover, go to KXOI.com to nominate it. 4 News Now Extreme Team brought to you by Horizon Credit Union. Lease a new 2022 Buick Encore for just $199 a month. It's perfectly sized to handle whatever life throws at you. The Encore features premium LED lighting, game-changing cargo space, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, advanced safety technologies, and more. The Encore will get you there in comfort and style. Visit us online at GeeBuickGMC.com or come see us for a test drive. We're just off I-90 at George Gee Buick GMC, the top-volume GMC Buick dealer in Washington State. You filming? Yep. Try rolling your wrist, dude. You gotta focus on balance. You should switch to sledding. I'm gonna block him. Good idea. Don't forget stick work. Hustle's paying off. From the Spokane River to the Snake River Dam, nationally and worldwide, what are the biggest threats to the water we all rely on and what's being done to protect it? Watch The Power of Water, a special all-day event Thursday on ABC News and 4 News Now. Put some spring into your step with great floors. Shop exclusive specials throughout our showroom on carpet, luxury vinyl, and cultivated wood. Save on Karistan carpet, only $20.23 for a whole home installation. Our huge selection and expert team are here to help you recreate the perfect look and feel of your home. Great Floors offers 12 months, 0% financing, so you are free to select the exact flooring you want. Visit a showroom today and live life on great floors. 4 News Now is brought to you by Wendell Motors. 
Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into sports. I'm Julian Minnesota. When we think of a summer job, we think of mowing lawns or babysitting for the neighbors. For Washington State's Cami Etheridge, her new summer job is much cooler than that. Etheridge will be the head coach for the USA women's basketball team. Etheridge's Team USA squad will compete at the 2023 FIBA Women's America Cup July 1st to the 9th in Mexico. Etheridge has previous USA basketball experience as a coach and player. She's a 1988 Olympic gold medalist and Etheridge was named the coach of the year by the athletic this season. She led the Washington State Cougars to their first Pac-12 tournament championship in program history. Eastern Washington football is more than halfway done with spring camp, but just because the practice time is winding down doesn't mean the players are taking it lightly. The Eagles have one final scrimmage on Saturday before next week's spring game. Head coach Aaron Best says the team is ahead of where they were last spring, but there is still a long way to go. The Eagles are still working with new presumed starting quarterback Keikoa Vysperis, among other positions. The plan is for the guys to leave it all out on the field in these final few days of practice before the long off season. The physicality this spring has been huge. I mean, we've done a lot of team reps this spring, but I think it's been good for us. It's uh, showed us how we're really going to be playing football next year, and we've raised the intensity a lot. Guys are going harder in practice. You got a long time to recover till the fall after, so they kind of just go out there and leave it all on the line. Um, like, yeah, they're your teammates. You don't want to hurt them, but at the same time, you got to prove something. Eastern Washington spring game is at 6 o'clock on Friday, April 28th. Idaho football won't have one of its best players next season. Linebacker Kamari Bailey has entered the transfer portal. Bailey led the Vandals with five sacks last season. He also recorded 22 tackles with eight of them for loss. Tough loss for the Vandals there. Now the Seattle Mariners had to feel pretty good about their chances last night. Bases loaded with their star Julio Rodriguez at the plate with a chance to win the game. Last year, the Mariners and their magic pixie dust would have found a way to win that game. This year, it seems the magic has so far fizzled out. The struggling Mariners, losers of two straight, looking to avoid the sweep against the Milwaukee Brewers. Julio Rodriguez wasn't missing that one. Seattle takes a 2-0 lead off the home run. To the seventh inning we go, Seattle leading 2-1. And for the second straight night, Seattle surrenders the lead. Bryce Terang knocks one into left field. Two runs will score as the Brewers go out in front. It was part of a five-run seventh inning for Milwaukee. And as we said, the Mariners had a chance to win last night couldn't do it bases loaded in the ninth here Jose Caballero with a chance to be a hero but he pops it up once again no magic for the Mariners on this day Seattle gets swept by Milwaukee five to three is the final here the Mariners look to turn things around against the St. Louis Cardinals the three game series starts Friday at home and the Spokane Indians they fall to the Tri-City Dust Devils on the road four to two earlier today the Indians have four more games against Against the Dust Devils on the road before returning home on Tuesday. And that'll wrap us up for sports. We'll be back right after. Tomorrow, live on GMA. Go with Ginger to one of the most crystal clear bodies of water anywhere and face to face with the most gentle giants. And see a stunning release back into the wild you won't forget. Tomorrow, only on Good Morning America. Stream 4 News now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by The Plant Farm. There have been thousands of names called in the NFL draft, but there's nothing like hearing your own. Live April 27th. After years of dedication. I was really working hard because I knew that it could change my life one day. Sacrifice and love. My family motivated me to be the best me that I could be. The next generation of football stars take the stage. This night represents with Reese Davis, Kirk Herbstreet, and the College Game Day crew. The NFL Draft, live, starting April 27th on ABC. This is how legends are made. Chevy Silverado, a new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or get 2250 total cash allowance on a 2023 Silverado with a turbo high output engine. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. I just don't think STCU could handle us. We've grown a lot. Can I be frank with you? Not just because 
That's my name. Now we've upgraded our tools, team, and bring a fresh perspective. So what's your pitch? Slow down a bit. Growth's great, but uncontrolled growth, now that can be dangerous. And how could growth be bad? You ever seen a six foot tall third grader sitting on Santa's lap? It's weird. This is some sort of reverse psychology. You can't drive 80 miles per hour down a highway that's not finished. You don't want to eat a grilled cheese. I would have stopped at the first one. I didn't know where I was going with that anyways. I get your point, but I don't need STC to help us slow down. True, but we're happy to offer strategy and advice until you do need us. Sometimes, what's best for you doesn't boost our bottom line. Sounds like STCU actually cares. <laughs> we do. All right, three, two, one. I feel like we've had a breakthrough here today. STCU Business, partner up. It is a school night, so I'm hoping all of my new friends at Mr. Monick's pre-calc class at Reardon High School are sound asleep and getting ready for another day of learning. We had a great time today uh, talking about some of the algebra uh, involved in weather forecast. Pick of the night, actually, Wildlife Wednesday uh, time. We've got a lot of osprey photos today, and they are all amazing. This one is from Ralph Kerr. Osprey with a rainbow trout. That is the goal. I have a couple outtakes from uh, other photographers. <laughs> I love this picture from Ron Burdick of an osprey in flight shaking off the lake water there. Nothing in the talons, so this must have been a uh, failed effort. Courtney Litwin shared this photo of an osprey with a catch, but this bald eagle chased it around, she said, for six minutes. That's unusual. Normally it's pretty quick. And uh, finally, the bald eagle did get away with the fish. Kathy Bolham shared this photo of western bluebirds at Farragut State Park. They're back, they're coupled up, the male and female. Such beautiful birds. Ken Bonner found these adorable great horned owlets down in the uh, Lewiston and Clarkston area. They are so so adorable, even though they seem to be giving Ken a dirty look. Dora Z. Davis excited to find the first male calliope hummingbird of the season. The hummingbirds are back, another sign of spring. Mary, meanwhile, Jerry Rawl shared this photo of golden eyed ducks showing off for the ladies. This is part of their uh, mating dance there. And finally, from Mark Boat. A bull elk looking a little spring-like. He uh, needs to shed the winter coat still, and you can see just the start of uh, the rack with the bumps on the head, the nodules, but otherwise pretty good-looking bull elk. Not very startled by Mark Vogt's presence either. A great photo. Thank you so much. I'll have these all posted on my Facebook page uh, very, very soon. Got to toss it back now to Kirsten. Thank you, Chris. New on Nightside, Twitter has removed a part of its policy that included protections for transgender people. Originally, the policy prohibited targeting others with slurs. It went on to say, quote, that includes targeted misgendering or dead naming of transgender individuals. Dead naming is defined as the act of referring to a transgender or non-binary person by their birth name. But according to archived versions of the page, that second part about transgender individuals was removed earlier this month. The company did announce earlier this week that it plans to start applying labels to tweets that violate its hate conduct policy and will also reduce their visibility. And a controversial bill is headed to Washington Governor Jay Inslee's desk. If signed, Senate Bill 5599 would allow youth centers to bypass biological parents and notify the state's Department of Youth and Families if a child shows up at their facilities seeking reproductive health care and gender affirming care. A local youth center, Odyssey Youth Movement in Spokane, is for kids identifying as LGBTQ+. And the organization's outreach manager, Chandler Wheeler, welcomes Senate Bill 5599. 
The small town of Idabel, Oklahoma is now facing national scrutiny after four local Oklahoma officials have been accused of making racist remarks and allegedly made reference to killing journalists. That's according to Bruce Willingham, the editor-in-chief of the McCurtain Gazette newspaper, who recorded and released the audio files. If it was back in the day, would that, like when Alan Marshy take a <laughs> like that, whoop their <laughs> throw them in the cell, I'd run for <laughs> chair. Yeah. According to Willingham, the voices heard on the recordings are the McCurtain County Sheriff, a district commissioner, a sheriff's captain, and jail administrator. The release of the audio leading Governor Kevin Stitt to call for their resignations and prompting community protests. Today, Commissioner Mark Jennings did submit his resignation. Investigator Alicia Manning, along with Sheriff Kevin Clardy and Administrator Larry Hendricks, have been suspended from the Oklahoma Sheriff's Association, which means they they are not certified to work in the state as law enforcement officials. Willingham tells ABC News that the audio was captured by a recorder which was in the room during a public session of a county commission meeting in March. We actually told the truth. I've known two or three hit men that were very quiet guys. ABC's Morea Villarreal met with Willingham who says the more than three hour long recording grew aggressive. They talk about uh, beating my son and I. Then the commissioner says, well now I'm talking about pre-dug holes. And a few minutes later, he says, I know some hitmen in Louisiana. The Sheriff's Department releasing a statement calling this a complex situation. While they do not address the recorded discussion, they say many of these recordings have yet to be validated, alleging the audio recordings that have been released have been altered. Melissa Don, ABC News, Los Angeles. New on Nightside, the Supreme Court decision that overturned the federal right to an abortion has created confusion across the U.S. Among those with questions are the nation's future doctors. New data suggests that the restrictions are having an impact on where and what future doctors plan to practice. A new analysis from the Association of American Medical Colleges finds the number of medical school students who applied to residency programs went down last year. Applications to programs in states with abortion bans dropped the most. Interest in the OBGYN specialty took a notable dip, with applications dropping 5% nationwide and twice as much in states where abortion is banned. We'll be right back. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. If your checking account isn't earning you money, it's time to switch to bonus checking from Numerica. The account that earns an incredible 2% annual percentage yield, that could earn you up to $500 every year or more. You didn't choose cat allergies, your hairline, or that thing when your knee just gives out for no reason. But you can choose your doctor who will care for all the things you didn't choose. Kaiser Permanente, for all that is you. Experience the film that started it all as a live symphony orchestra performs with the full movie on the big screen. Second show added. Get your tickets now at ticketswest.com. Look at this baseball field and this one. How about this one? Which one is next for a 4 News Now Extreme Team Diamonds and Dreams makeover? How about yours? Go to KXY.com and tell us why your field deserves a makeover. Diamonds and Dreams brought to you by your hometown Chevy dealers and Horizon Credit Union. April showers brings mud, and that means it's time to go off-road. And everything you need is waiting at Snow's Auto. Shop over 100 custom wheels or crank up the sound with a new amp and subs. And this week, window tins are 50 bucks off at Snow's Auto. I'm Mark Peterson with the 4 News Now Extreme Team. Are you planning a home or a building remodel or repair project? Asbestos fibers may be present in roofing, insulation, flooring, ceiling textures, siding, and many other products. Whether you're a do-it-yourselfer or hiring a contractor, all parties are responsible for following the requirements. Prior to work, a survey must be done to see if asbestos is present. If it is, it must be left alone or properly removed and disposed of. Contact Spokane Clean Air for more information. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now.
And your forecast for tomorrow, dry until the late evening, high of 51. Should see some sunshine to start the day, and then more showers on Friday. Look at those 60s next week, though. Yes. <laughs> we have to start looking ahead instead of behind. We're already through. It's going to be great. Oh. And, you know, Julian's here to talk to us about what everybody is talking about, the NHL. Oh yeah, cracking game two tomorrow after getting the upset last night. We'll see if they can do it. They're underdogs, but they didn't look like it. No, they didn't. Yeah. And I know some Avalanche fans who aren't here right now. Oh, yeah. so we can talk crack and all we want. <laughs>